All right, everyone, we are back. We're going to be jamming quite a few decks tonight. Uh, of course, we're going to run some Mono Green Tron. I'm going to play that, test it out a little bit, uh, do a little bit of an update. But I do have a Bant Soul Herder, five color Urza on the lineup tonight as well. Um, the Mono Green deck I want to try, I do want to play the. Uh, the classic Mono Green Tron. They don't want to do the Karn Great Creator right now. Uh, that's just not in the spot that I want it to be. Um, so, let's put our cards in. Some veils. Got some ley lines we gotta grab in here. Got three Thrags. Three nature's claim. Let's get some creature removal. Alrighty. Let's update that. This is, I'm gonna try to make this a pretty long stream because I'm actually gonna be gone for a good bit. I was just thinking about that the other day. Um, or no, rather today, um, as I was uh, getting ready for the stream, that I'm going to be gone um, next week because I'm going to be in Dallas, so I won't be able to stream then. The following week, I'm going to be in uh, Indy, so I'm also going to be uh, gone all weekend for that as well. And then the weekend after that, I'll finally be able to come back. So we'll see how things go. Let me go ahead and uh, download this deck real quick and uh, get it uploaded to Twitch or... Uh, Stream back here, and I think we're gonna be good to go. So, let's get that going. <clears throat> Got a new pair of glasses. My new prescription came in. Had a whole awkward thing with that, so my. Alright, the deck list is updated. Um, this list we are running you know, four Karns, two Ugins, two Ballistas, four Worm Coils, two Ulamogs. Um, a lot of forums, obviously, like the Ancient Stirring, Sylvans, Chromatics, Expos. I won three Relics, three O Suns, and one All is Dust. And then you guys saw me put together that sideboard just now. Uh, this hand is not forming anything anytime soon. This hand is. So let's keep that. So I'm actually going to ship, I think, the Ancient Stirrings here. That way we can form Tron two different ways in case we get disrupted. Let's run out our map and pass it over. It looks like we're against humans. If I have time to run another, I'm going to be running the same 75 that uh, five colors I played yesterday um that gave me the second place in the mcq um but if we have time i'm gonna try to do a tweaked version of that uh, uh, uh. oh we want tron mm, we can go relic crack a draw card or sphere i think we're gonna go sphere first green Sylvan Scrying. We got another Tron piece already. Let's grab this Blast Zone and we'll just run out this Relic. And we'll pass it over. Get some 
some pretty good beats in. Mm -mm. Let's draw a card, I suppose. Karn. Let's get rid of that Mantis Rider. And we'll pass it over. Gonna lose the Karn Daddy. Awesome. Um, we want to be able to get that at least one higher. I'm just going to do this. Just cantripping like crazy. We'll find something. You know, something's in our letter. Hopefully we're not taking too crazy of a beats this turn. Taking at least five. They have another lieutenant, it's gonna be quite a bit of damage. Eight, nine. Ugh. It's gonna be painful. Take nine, go to four. My math right. We saw how good I was at math yes uh, last league, so don't trust me anymore. <laughs> uh, that's stirrings. Ballistas, nope. Alright, do we want to run a ballista or do we want to use blast zone? Why not both? Probably should have used the blast zone first, right? If we would have done that, we would have been able to actually uh, get this ballista one point higher. Hey, getting life in game one, though, is pretty hard. I don't know why we're getting life is if we alt with uh, alt with our uh, Ugin, which I don't think that's gonna happen. Deputy. Good times, good times. Karn. All right, one, let's cantrip. And we can go this. Crack it. We'll get ourselves a Sanctum. Play Sanctum. Play our Karn. Yes. I would like... I mean, also, Worm Coil. Completely forgot about him. Obviously, my mind is not in the right mindset for playing this deck. <laughs> I'm going to grab Ballista, though, because I want to be able to take down multiple threats. Uh, we gotta get rid of the noble. It's gonna be the bigger threat here. Deputy's just gonna deal us one. Can't believe I forgot about Worm Coil. The card that like gives us an insane amount of life. I am dumb. Hmm. 
Yeah, you're not wrong. At this rate. <laughs> We actually prefer them to hit us. Drew the worm coral anyway. All right, so let's tick down on the unsettled mariner. We'll pay the one for that. And then we're gonna go worm coil and ballista. And we'll pass it over. We got this! We got this, folks! You are right, Humorous. Just had to listen to you. Just had to gain some life. Non-issue. Alright, want the relics gone. I think we want these thrags. Do we want the dismembers? I think we do. Let's take out the Karns, I think. And I think that's it. Hmm, this hand would awkwardly form Tron if we get lucky. How lucky do we feel? We're feeling pretty lucky. I think I'm feeling pretty lucky. I think I feel lucky enough that I'm going to kill this champion. <laughs> Please tell me that's an image. Oh, it's a meddling mage. I think I'm still gonna take out this champion now. The name Ugin? I find that interesting. Look at that. Non issue. We're so good at this. Oop, that's an oof. We're not as good at this. We are not as good. Well, that would make sense why they named the, uh, the Uga now. That's such a good card. I love this card. We're gonna need more cards we can't cast. It's like super rude. On the plus side, we're only one mana away from the Strike Tusk. And they can't swing anymore. Never mind, they're going to be swinging. <laughs> That's bad for us. <laughs> Come on, baby, off of that land! Oh, man! Alright, uh, we can't cast this this member either, so we're dead. <laughs> uh, we can't kill the green dude with uh, Ballista, because uh, Oof is in play. And we can't kill the Oof, because we are dismember would kill us. So we're going to go out the proper way. And we're going to dismember this oof paying life. Because that's how we do it. You can't kill us, we kill us. All 
Urborg is a possibility. I do see people playing the black green one. Uh, this hand's not going anywhere. This hand has a chance. I think we'll keep it. I think we're going to ship the sphere, though. I want to keep this O stone. It'll be pretty crucial. Man, come on, lucky. Not lucky. Well, I mean, not super lucky. We're gonna take out this champion, though. It makes me feel better about dismembering Eldrazi Tron, but I just, I, like, it's also awkward because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't advance anything. It just prevents you from losing life, right? I'm just gonna name our oblivion stone. That's so rude. to tick up I think we do Obviously should have done that at end step. Sure. It's a whole lot of damage. So we've got to rip a Tron piece like this turn. Well, we didn't get it. I could have left the blast zone on one and took it out. Um, and if I would have done it at the end of turn, I don't think it would have been as bad. Because if I did it at the end of turn, they would only had a champion and a um, champion and a vial in play. They probably wouldn't have played that other vial or that other champion, and then we would have took it out, and then we wouldn't have been facing so much damage. So that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I'm saying this is pretty good. We get one cantrip, we got a graveyard hate, and we've got uh, a little bit of stirring to do. We're, we're professionals. We're professionals. We get the Sylvan Scrying. No big deal. Kind of force of negation us? That's so rude. We just have it though. <laughs> I'm gonna stirrings though. This turn. Let's get a ballista. Oh, we'll get a relic.
Blood Moon. Somebody's rude. Okay. We're gonna target living gun here. I'm gonna get through the breach here, I swear. Through the breach. So I'm going to shoot them completely because I don't want them to draw a card. Which might not be correct, but we're making land drops just fine. And I'd rather them not have an extra card, even if we can recast the Ballista the following turn. Just making casual multiple land drops, no big deal. I have all the Tron pieces. Two one flash beater, you know, as you do in blue red. Got the Zugan, see if they have an answer. They don't. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Our mana's unlocked. Our mana is unlocked. Are they doing this just to kill Ugin? Because this is kind of great for us. Fantastic. Boom, 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 boom. We're going to cast this here. That's a concession. It's a concession. They got no problem with us. All right. So I want to bring in the Thrag Tusk. The Veils seem decent, and the Natures don't seem bad. Um, Relics is just for a snap. That might not be worth it. Ballistas, probably Thrag Tusk are better here. Um, all is Dust, I think we're fine to trim as well. Ugans, I think I'm okay with trimming one. I'm going to take one Ulamog off because they're playing a lot of Blood Moon effects and counters and whatnot. We're going to play a lower mid rangey game. Okay, natural tron. Natural tron. So I like audible last minute uh, yesterday for the MCQ and switched to uh, switched to Urza, and that was pretty hilarious. Doing it so last minute and it paying off so well. Ooh, the person we traveled in a car with yesterday. Um, one of our friends just made top eight of the MCQ today, which is absolutely fantastic. He unfortunately died in the semis by infect. Mm. 
Okay. I'm going to crack a green here for the veil. Mana. I'm going to go boom, boom. This, and we're going to use all of our colorless. Counterless. Counter us. Do it. Do it. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I love Veil. <laughs> uh, I did not give that card enough credit. Okay, that's, uh, that's great. Uh, we'll have the beats commence. And uh, we're going to play this sphere. Green. Drag daddy. Pass. They're down to three cards though, which is cool. It's not exactly land breach. Oh, we're gonna destroy our lands. Wow, so incredibly rude opponent. You're lucky we had another one ready to go. Still not gonna cast that Sullivan. If they destroy the other one, then I'll get it done. Easy peasy. Okay, we'll keep this. We're going to form a turn three Tron. By the way, if I look really close to the screen right now during tonight, it's because I have new glasses on and I'm still trying to adjust to them. I got them last night when I got home from the MCQ uh, in the mailbox and I was like, okay, new prescription feels really weird. It's supposed to be the correct prescription compared to what I was using and it increased my prescription so much that I feel really weird about it. Green land scrying mine pass. Kind of multicolor shenanigans we got here with Feller. I swear, if they're gonna name Worm Coil because they bounced it, they're gonna dra draw us two cards, and I'm gonna be super sad. Oh, they're gonna name Karn. Okay. Not great, by any means. I love Karn. Why would they do that to us?
Mm. Well, I think we're just wearing out the worm coil. What is up? Jokeable. We are streaming some Monogreen Tron right now. Garrisons of Forest. I would like to swing at your Tuffery. I hope that's okay. It's apparently not okay. An instant speed pulls. It's so good. All right, let's stirrings. Let's get this Ulamog. Casually cast this Ulamog. and take out there. Ah, they can see it. Okay, so there's some kind of five color deck. Definitely taking out the relics. And I feel like Thragtus is going to card we're bringing in here. They did Teferi and Pulse, right? That's the only cards we saw from them. It might just be this for now. And then we'll assess for more. Oh, that Niv deck, that five color Niv deck. I have actually not gone against the five color Niv deck. Do you guys like that deck? Is it good? Actually, let's bring in the veils. Oh, is it? Oh, it's too late. Okay, I did want. We should have brought in the veils. Protect us from that unmoored ego shenanigans again. And apparently, they have like trophies and all kinds of great shenanigans. I am surprised by the consistency of the deck, to be honest. I guess when you play like a variety of these shocks and then your um, Arkham's Astrolabe is a lot, uh, helps you with it. Oh, this hand's awkward. It requires us to get one more land, so we're going to ship this. Same here. We'll keep this. We'll ship the O Stone and the Sanctum. Take. I imagine the other map. No, they don't want us to have Karn. Because we're reasonable magic players, we drew the power plant. Well, that's unfortunate. Goodbye, mine. Well, we're just making land drops now. Those veils, do we? I 
Uh, I could have cracked in response, but then it goes to my hand, and then I draw a card in, in spot of it. So, yeah, I could have it, but then I just lose it. And, in, and I mean, in some scenarios, that if we were like super land heavy, that might be correct just so we can get an extra draw. But in this case here, I was just trying to make the land drop, so I decided against it. That feels like a... Nope, it's bring a light with Niv, though. I feel like this is going to be too much for us. Yeah, Tron's, Tron's uh, still pretty good. And then Johnny, yeah. swing and play their other nev. They're just running away with this game at this point. Like we have a chance to be in this game to an extent if we can. What a shatter assumptions. Okay, we've got no cards in hand. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna concede there. so incredibly rude of them. Wow. Bring him in the veils. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're just like, you get no cards. No. We needed to like hit two land drops in a row for even like a chance to stay in the game with like an all is us to wipe the board, but then even then they just cast the one of the other nibs from their hand. So I don't feel like anything was happening there. <laughs> oh mm, this hand can't operate. Neither can this one. function with this one so we'll figure it out it's gonna be potentially awkward hand 
escape. We will have to... I think we're going to just have to ship our worm coil and our ozone here just because we want to just create the best possible chances of Formatron anyway. Okay, opponent, we're not allowed to cast some stuff. Well, let's grab power plant. Star. That's fine. We'll just we'll just keep making land drops and then and then deal with that. I'm such a fan of this card. Now this doesn't actually stop us from forming Tron and generating the mana from that. We just can't cast certain spells until we have the necessary amount, so. Next turn we'll have enough to cast this um, Thrag Tusk. Oh, it only stops non-creatures. I am dumb, I could've, I thought it was all spells. Cause I misread it. That's my mistake. I completely misread this card. I thought it was uh, all spells, but it's only non-creature spells. This card is not as good as I thought it was, too. All right, let's map. I am playing like a bum. You've got all the worm coils. This feels like an, a Niv. Bring to light for Niv.
sure. Too bad we're not going to be able to use this Veil of Summer. I'm going to draw a card. Maybe we should play that X soon. This five color Niv pile. Seems fun. Not sure what our opponents. Okay, they finally decided what they're gonna do. Get their Kotal back. Blow up our O Stone. All right, they're gonna flash in the Kotal, but it's fine. I feel like with our opponent having seven cards in hand and us having uh, zero, um, they're simply playing with their food right now, deciding how they want to kill us. They're like, do I want to kill them with a Niv Mizzet flying? Do I want to blow up more of their stuff? Do I want to unmoored eagle them to take them off things? Maybe take them off some threats? Another tough right? Okay. Why not? Totally reasonable. Yeah. Nope, it's pretty much game. Okay, that's a nuke. We can we can concede there. Just needed to see that. I 
Oh, okay, we got Tron. Mmm, affinity. This O stone's gonna be mighty handy. So, like their play makes us look so much more, so much more boring. Like they're like cast all these things. We're like Matt go. I hope they just equip and beat us. Like, right, come on, just just equip and beat us. No more threats. This is not good for us, in case you guys were curious. No, not the Tron's boring. Not, not the Tron's boring. Just we're not doing, okay, we're good. <laughs> we're not doing as cool stuff as they are. That's, that's the thing. And that's why actually I really enjoyed playing Urza this, this weekend. All right, so those are out. These are in, and these are in. This is out, out, and out. We'll bring in that as well. Which deck does the coolest stuff? It, it depends on your definition of cool, though. Uh, is a thing like. It depends on how you want to be cool about it. If you enjoy doing cool with like, creatures, I definitely think Vampire is one of the coolest decks. Um, if you want to do cool stuff like comboing, uh, Neoform is like probably like the closest you're gonna get to like a legacy deck. I think this hand is fine. It's not great by any means. I'm keeping it because we get uh, Ballista to slow them down. Yeah, that five color Niv deck was doing some sweet stuff. I'm pretty jealous. Um, I mean the Urza deck is that I played. That was a blast too. That's doing some crazy things. Do we want to ballista that? I think we just we're gonna dismember this. But so, so yeah, it depends on your your definition of what you like doing, what you think is cool. Stirrings, last zone, play that. to see a Tron piece. Tragedy. Guess we did get our Tron piece. <laughs> oh. I, th I think I want to crack this now as much as I don't like to do this. Because if we don't crack it now, next turn we won't be able to... Next turn we're going to cast... Yeah, I want to be able to cast Thrag Test next turn. Sure. Why not? Stone's pretty good too. Let's do O Stone. For me, um, the coolest deck I think I have played this year is has been the Urza deck. I, I'm, I've been having a blast with it this whole last week, um, and, and I am a big fan of Vanifar. Um, I don't know. I'm not a fan of Neoform, so I don't really think of that as like a cool deck. I I hate the idea of like. You just killed them and they didn't interact with you at all. Oh, you killed them turn one. That's so great. 
I, I don't really like that kind of stuff. What is up, Antis94? Thank you so much for the follow. I think we're just going to pass this back and we're going to pop the O stun before combat. They're just swinging at us with the signal pass. That's fine. I'll take the two. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of like the graveyard decks. I wasn't like drawn to Dredge or um, Dredge or the Hogak deck. Like, not my style. This is good. We'll keep this. Yeah, I, I do like it when you're playing a deck that's attacking on a different axis than normally, which is a uh, pretty pretty sweet overall. I think so often we're used to like just the normal style of playing creatures having some kind of uh, interactive. Yeah, uh, Dredge will definitely be a lot better once Hogek goes away. Right now, a lot of decks are held back as a Hogek, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to hold up Dismember, because next turn we can just go Star into Earth, um, Star into Stirrings anyway. Yeah, because like right now every deck is packing like six to eight pieces of graveyard hate. Yeah, and, and the, like, the way that Dredge runs Hogak is honestly just fine. Are they moving everything onto that Ink Maw? That's so ambitious. Or are they eating everything? Okay, we've got two turns. Alrighty. Map guarantees it later on. Mm -mm -mm. Gonna be a close one. What is up, super fast Batman? Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, that's not good for us.
wet ball of weapon wetting us down pretty hard. I think we're we gotta like rip a dismember or a nature's claim to stay alive here. Well, that Sylvan's crying. And unfortunately for us, we updated our list to the uh, non-Ghost Quarter version. So... That is it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. We're not doing very well. We're one in three. <laughs> All right, last one here. See if we can at least go two and three. This hand's not great. Neither is this one. Yeah, let's try. All right, ship that. That. Get a cantrip. Going against E Tron or Tron or E Tron or Green Tron. Oh. Hello, Jojo La Patate. La Patate. Thank you so much for the follow. We're so good at this. I think if I do play this deck um, at the tournament, I'm going to have to play uh, Ghost Quarter again, though. Once, uh... Once we are through with Hogak Summer, Summer of Hogak, whatever it's called nowadays. Alright, so this is Etron. It's good to. They gave us more information than they really should have. Like, they didn't have to tell us, show us that. They're letting us go to our turn? That's interesting. I think I'm still ticking up. Do I want the list? Yeah. I think I'm just gonna put a counter on the list. See if they respond. They do. We'll just add another one. They made some interesting choices there. How's this? All right. Well, we don't need our relics. Our all is dust is dead. Our Ugans are not great. Thrag Tusk. Dismembers. Oh, we can play a Nature's Claim here. I imagine there are current great creators, so maybe the other two Nature's Claim will be good as well. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm good with that. I'll take out the Ballistas.
Mm. This hand's going nowhere. Uh, this hand's not either. And not this one. I guess we can try this. Shift this, this, and this. Being mighty rude. They have lands and a map. All right. Mm. We are not good at this game. Oh, that's not good for the sphere and map in our hand. Lamp. Gosh. Got a threat? I'm going to concede to a threat. Yeah, I'm good here. We'll go, we'll go to the next game. We'll, we'll go to the next game. So it's not really going anywhere. This hand. Do I think Hogak should be banned? Yeah, I think. I think at this point Hogak needs to be weakened. Um, oh, undo. Ship that. Yeah, it just depends on how they're going to go about it at this point. Do they want to ban Hogak outright? Or are they going to, uh, which seems like the correct call. Or are they going to go about it a little bit differently and try to still see if they can stimulate um, a different way to approach it? And I'm drawing here just in case they chalice on one. So I'm going to go sphere into the map. Um, or they're going to try to ban the citrus supplier. I'd like for them to ban Stirrings, Faithless, and Hogak. I think that makes the format a lot better. Uh, Mox Opal's probably pretty close to getting banned, but I'd rather see those other cards get banned first. I was talking to someone yesterday about it, and they actually think Manamorphose should get banned uh, before Stirrings or Looting or Opal, which I think is a pretty valid point. That card's pretty strong in, the, in where we're at with the format. Uh, there's a good chance that after, you know, that gets banned that we just, we're just we back in a meta that's uh, Mono Red Phoenix, Blue Red Phoenix as the top decks, which I don't know. I think that's fine, right? It's not ideal by any means, but it's where we're at, right? Um, let's scry for the tower. Like, Mox Opal's always, like, the big offender when it comes to an artifact deck, right? Like, any time that you see a bad one pop up, it's always that. Man, they just don't want us to have a tower. At least we've got a Thrag Daddy. We've got one more mana too. We've got multiple Worm Coils. Yeah, I think hitting them all would be pretty awesome. You see, a, it would be pretty painful for everybody's pocketbooks. 
because of all the you know like I own a bunch of those cards and a bunch of those decks that go with those cards. But like Tron would still exist, right? Like it's not going anywhere. It's just gonna find a way to replace the stirrings. Um, other decks are gonna find ways to replace the um, the looting effect to the best of their ability. Um, all the artifact decks, I you know, most of them still exist. They're not going away. They're just gonna be you know slower now because they don't have access to opal. We're so good. So yeah, I don't know if they'll go as, you know go that crazy to ban all of them. Um, you know, I think I said in the last stream that I, th I think they should have been banning proactively um, these decks that are you know out of control. But it's we we're actually looking at the timelines of the bans today too, and it uh, not as crazy as uh, you know. Someone was saying that uh, my friend was saying that he doesn't like where modern's at because he feels that you're getting a ban can so consistently that it's hard to be a part of it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the subscription, Robertron, for the fourth month in a row. And you want to say unbanned twin? I don't know if the twin's going to get unbanned. It really wouldn't matter at this point, though, I guess, right? Uh, it's not going to be that relevant in this format. They don't do anything with the Hogak. Oh, six month. Six month. I'm, these glasses, I swear, I can't read anything. They're supposed to make my vision better. But my goodness, my eyes are bad. Have I been streaming for six months now? That's kind of cool. Appreciate you, Garby. Number one fan. Alrighty. So we got there. It's pretty cool. Not as great as we wanted to. But I don't think that was an issue necessarily with the list or anything. So we'll wrap up that recording.